I think androgyny has actually been a really big motive in my dad's life. And I think it's, in a way, in a strange way, I think it's one of the reasons that I became a dancer. I am a child of the 50s and I grew up in a household where the girls did the dishes and the boys mowed the lawn and everything was extremely gender specific. Like, you know, a lot of people in my generation, I was absolutely rebellious. I had this idea as a young person that really there was no difference at all between boys and girls. And I think that's why, I mean, I knew about dance as a child, but I'll tell you, I did not like the way that girls were behaving in those ballets and even in those movies. I just felt it was really patronizing. And I, I was, I, want, I, I imagined a much more exciting life that was somehow um, transcending that kind of stereotype. And so I was very attracted to theater. Just the range of characters and the range of behavior to me just seemed so much broader in theater than in dance. And it was at theater school that I discovered modern dance. And so I didn't see a performance. I saw my teacher, Patricia B, teaching a class movement for actors, and we were all wearing t-shirts and blue jeans with maybe bare feet. I saw a woman in the real world. I want to be like her. She was completely in her body, in the most like earthly, sensual, everything she spoke about, she was embodying at the same time. I, I just said, I don't know what that is. I, I want, that's, I'd like to be just like her. And that's when I fell in love with modern dance. And it was because I, it was a new image for me of a female. Men and women in class together. And a lot of times in the choreography, men and women being uh, challenged with the same kinds of physical tasks. Mm -hmm. And then when I discovered the choreography of Lar Lubavitch, I even went like more like, oh my God, because he dressed people the same. He gave men these just beautiful lyrical solos and women these just punishing athletic um, episodes in his choreography. And when I was in this company, I actually shared roles with some of the men in that company. For me, it was that contemporary dance was the, was the threshold to understanding a world in which the, the, the differences between men and women are much more subtle. It's something that's always interested me and, and really when I started doing solo work that was one of the primary things that I wanted to do was to express more very authentic images of women. Brute was a very, very important dance in my creative life. The impetus behind it was to make a recital program with the pianist that I had been working with, Andrew Barashko. Together we chose this very exciting and sort of intimidating, I think for both of us, a piece of piano music um, by Prokofiev. The music delivered me to the whole sort of epoch that had produced this piece of music in, in, very, in, a, in a very unexpected sequence of, of events. First of all, I was just strictly using the music and I was improvising to it. It was eliciting in me certain kinds of um, shapes. I didn't really know what to do with them at all and I, I, I couldn't imagine if I was doing this for the first two minutes of this half hour piece, like what was going to, where, where could that possibly be leading me? And I started reading a book completely unrelated to any of this. There was an essay about Picasso of, of studies he had done for his painting Guernica. And the study really was of this horse that had, that was injured and he was, uh, he had fallen to the ground and his, his limbs were twisted and his head was sideways on the ground. I looked at that picture and I said, I am taking on these very same shapes in this choreography. I found a book about the painting and it, it had been completed within a couple of years of this music by Prokofiev. So yeah, the music delivered me back actually really to that time in history and it took me there through my own body. I think the physicality is very, very yang. 
And so there's a, there's a whole world of possibilities for me that I'm not exploring in that dance and a whole certain corner that I'm pushing myself into very forcefully. So in a dance like Brute, androgyny is a really, really important element for me, part of the excitement of teaching that dance to a man and a woman was seeing like, does that play? Like, is that an important part of it? And in the end, I think, yes, it is.